Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part two of my complete colouring book collection. And this second part is other books that I haven't coloured in. So in the first video we saw all the Jade Summer books I hadn't coloured in along with Colour in Heaven and the old oversized books. This is the rest of the collection and it's a big shelf full so let's get started. So we have the Harry Potter Magical Creatures colouring book which I hauled recently. I do like the pictures in the back to give you an idea of what they're like. Obviously I haven't coloured in this yet, it's when I want to. I want to do the spiders, I did show you that before but yeah it's a really nice nice book. So there's that one and there's the Angelic Beauties colouring book by Rachel Mintz. Again this is one I hauled. Beautiful phot photographic like images. Two of each so you could do one with pencil, one with pens maybe. That might be an idea. Hope to try something in that one soon. I've got the Disneyland Parks colouring book. Uh, like I said, I got this because I've actually been to Disneyland in Anaheim, California. It's a long time ago now, it's changed a lot since I was there. Didn't have the Star Wars stuff and it wasn't called Pixar Pier, it was called I can't remember what it was called, something else, but yeah, I love it. I think it's just so adorable. I can pull out my Disney pictures from when we went and uh, see what we can do with those. Look, it's so cute. So it's picks up here now. What was it called before? Paradise Pier, that was it, Paradise Pier. And I like the embossing on this one. I'm not big, um, I do love Disney, but I'm not big on colouring Disney, but I do like that one. Uh, I've got Ava Brown, um, a mermaid's colouring book. So obviously I've got a lot of PDFs now, which you'll be seeing in another video, but this is a book I bought because I like mermaids. I'm not as big on them as some people, but I do like colouring them. So there's that one. Creative Haven, fabulous fashions of the 80s. I do like the Creative Haven ones. I like the fact that they are single-sided and they're, they're good paper, so they're quite nice. See, I'm just leaning across the thing. I've got two here. I've got Penelope's Garden. This is by Dia Lenahan. She's the one that does the buns, which I've got as well, which you'll see later. Again, this is a recent acquisition that I recently hauled. And there's this uh, summer magazine, Art, Draw and Create, which is for kids, but I thought it'd be nice to colour in. And Jennifer can have some of the simpler pages and I'll have the more difficult pages and I'll pop them in a, a PDF folder. And then I've got uh, uh, Demeter Victoria, The Witches, so I love anything like that. Absolutely stunning, I can't wait to colour in this one. And then we've got... Uh, fabulous, Fantastic Beauties, book one. Absolutely stunning again. A lot of detail on this one, but I do like it. Healing Mandalas. These next few are a bit smaller, so I'll just zoom in a bit. By Lisa Tenzin Dolma. Excuse me, getting in the way. Um, I've, I'm doing this on the bed, I thought it'd be slightly easier. It's not much by me, but really. I just thought it'd be easier to get the books. And then, of course, I've got the four of the Lulu Mayos that I've got so far. So, that's uh, a million cute animals. Lovely they are. A million unicorns. A million sloths. And a million mermaids. Hopefully, we'll be doing something in this one this month. I think they're lovely. Finally, picked those up. Then I've got Kelly Horton here. This is Christmas Darlings. One of the ones I haven't coloured in yet. It might be the only one I haven't coloured in. It is on one side because I was hoping to do something in July, but I didn't. So it's Christmas Darlings again. I do love her work. So. 
Then this is a, a magazine that uh, comes out in the UK every now and again. Uh, Colour Art, the seasonal collection. So this one is Christmas. I haven't done anything but I do love them. So as you can see I've got one mark that I was again hoping to do for Christmas in July. Never did. This is why there's going to be loads of Christmas ones now. Uh, Gingerbread Life colouring book. Well let me just zoom back out now because uh, I forgot I'd zoomed in. This is Colouring Book Cafe and it's just all gingerbread houses and sweets and treats. <clears throat> We've got the Relax With Art Holiday Special Let It Snow. A festive colouring journey. Again, I, again, I haven't coloured in it. I haven't bought any Relax With Arts lately because I've just got so many books to colour in. We've got Santa's Christmas Grayscale by Ruth Sanderson. This one is so intimidating because it's like so dark, the grayscale. But I think I might have a go with my prismas on this this Christmas and have a go. One of the more bizarre ones coming up next is the Jack the Ripper colouring book. And it's not very good. Um, the picture's very, very tiny. It looks like um, clip arts. Um, yeah so it's not that good some of them would have been better if they'd have been full size pages but they're not which is a shame it would have been a better book nice little town it's the first one it's the only one I've got I will have to get them I do like them actually I might try and colour in this this month I that one. yeah I might have a go at this this month actually that's quite nice it's quite a nice little book then another one is the Marilyn Monroe colouring book. Again, this is like the Jack the Ripper one. It's not very good. I've actually got two copies of this with different covers. So one's in my Marilyn collection and one's in my colouring one. So some of them are alright. That, that's okay. Those are okay. It's not too bad. But again, they're very small. They would have been better if they'd have been full-size pages. Again, just clip art. There's that. Oops, I do apologise. This is one of the first books I ever bought. It's called The Zodiac Pentagram. I love it. And it's got all the different things in it. I have never coloured in it, so I'm definitely going to have to. Look at that. Aquarius. I, mean, I really like this book. Look at that. That's beautiful. They are just absolutely gorgeous. We've got Lacey Say It Sunshine's Hocus Pocus colouring book. 30 magical images to colour. So this is like a uh, Halloween one. Again, I love this style. I, I like the Lacey Sunshine one. I think they're lovely. I haven't got Rand's colour in it. I will soon. So that was completely different. It just does not fit, that one, with the rest of the, the style. So... Then I've got Hot Tropics by Carla Magana. It's the only Carla Magana one I've got. I probably will get some more of them if I can ever get some of these down. I'm going to have a month of trying not to buy very much. Um, I do like these, so I, I like that one. I might have to try and colour one of these this month. Or oh, that one, that's nice too. The Mermaid is cute. Yeah. So I do like that book. Then again, the only Christine Karen book I got is the Fairies Grayscale. I will get some more of these. I think they're just beautiful. Again, do I want to do them in in pencil or markers? I have coloured that one. It was in a colour in heaven, and I did it with Crayolas. So you'll see that one again later. I love that one. They are beautiful need to get some more of hers. Then I've got this one which I'm not going to pronounce which is by Tomislav Tobik. The other name for it is Villain Fan which is easier but this is Spooks... Spooks... Or something like that. I don't know. I can't pronounce it but again it's very detailed but very very stunning and I do like his work. That, that is gorgeous. I might have to do that one soon I think absolutely unbelievably beautiful i'm so thirsty i have got the chibi zodiac uh, by yam puff coloring the, the signs of the the zodiac which i think are adorable there's two there's one like that and then got gemini there 
and then there's another one hang on and there cancer like beautiful absolutely love them I think they're fantastic uh, Hannah Lynn, Whimsy Girls separate, celebrate, ce separate, celebrate the holidays. I have not done anything in this one yet. So, yeah, it could be, you could come on at any time, like Happy Birthday, Independence Day, Halloween fun. I'm, I mean, I might save it for that, I might not, I don't know yet, but I haven't done that one either. I've got Good Wives and Warriors Escape to Christmas Past. I've got two of the books. I have not got the Alice in Wonderland one because I really don't like Alice in Wonderland very much. Not a big fan. But yeah, Escape to Christmas Past, which is a Christmas Carol. I do want to colour in this one. I hope to do something this Christmas. Then I've got uh, Dainty Damsels Valentine's Collection by J.N. Sheets. Again, these are really cutesy chibis and girls and I love them just did not have the time once more that those books as well remember when nostalgic seems to color from yesteryear Hollywood screen stars so Elvis on the cover none of them look particularly like it um, that's Marilyn at Niagara so that was it's not too bad who else is in here let's, let's have a look thanks love is Carrie Grant Marlon Brando. Don't know who Mary Beth Hughes is, I've got to be honest. Orson Wells, Rita Hayworth, Shirley Temple. What's that? Sophia Loren. I'm pretty sure there's Elvis. Was Jean Harlow in here? I'm sure Jean Harlow's in. There's obviously Marilyn. Mae West, Kirk Douglas. John Wayne. Yes, Jean Harlow. So Marilyn was from Niagara, if I can get to Jean Harlow because I'm getting stuck on Rita Moreno, um, is that one, this would be um, an image from Public Enemy, which starred James Cagney, I know my movies, well I know a lot of movies, not Lost in London, picked this up years ago when I went to London, I think it might have been the last time we went, or the time before, last time I went I think. I made a haul video as well, just haven't coloured anything in it and I don't know why. Because you don't have to colour it like they would look properly, you colour it however you want, there's the shard. Great Fire London, Liverpool Street. It's a great book, just haven't had a chance to colour in it. I'm going to have to do something in there. Um, and this one, and then I'll get another stack, is called Colour and Relax Magic Ocean. These were in the doors, they were like 3 99 I've got two other ones as well. And they're only really small ones, but oh, I'm going to do that one this month, I think. They do take up a lot of space because they're quite thick. And you can actually, once if you've coloured it, you can put it on display like that. And you can just have a different picture every day. And they are single-sided, which is, is good, so... There's that one. All right, I'm going to go, oh, excuse me, and get another stack of books. I'll be right back. Okay, I've pulled the rest of the books off now. There's loads of them. I'm going to try and put them back as we go. So we just want a quick sip of water and we will crack on. Okay. Drum Reese by Maria Trolley. Her first book. Which I think means dream trip or something like that. So, beautiful as usual. Always the same beautiful style of photographs or pictures rather. I like oh I like that one on the rainbow. A look. Very smooth paper this one then. I like that one. So that's that one. I'm doing this so I can put them back on the shelf pretty much straight away. Um, again, Maria Trolley Botanicum. So these are the ones, like I said, I haven't coloured in at all yet. I'm very naughty, I know. Again, beautiful. Oh, look at that, it's gorgeous. I mean, how beautiful is this picture? It's amazing. Just pop her there for now. And then, of course, we've got Luna, which is the newest one. Now, this one does seem a little bit smaller than the rest, actually, getting them all out. But I do like this book. There's some lovely pictures in here as well. 
absolutely stunning love it of course tenderful enchantment by clara markova which i hauled in the last um haul this has got a tag in it because there's a picture i want to color but again absolutely gorgeous book from carla clara rather which one is it i want to color let's have a look it's the puppy it's the little dog and the bells I just think he's gorgeous and I do want to colour him in so that's what I'm planning on doing first I'm going to keep the apple out no point in putting it away if I'm going to colour in it it gives me a bit of space um, jewellery box Hannah Carlson there's a couple of these coming up now again I've had this one a while I think it's the gems I'm not very good at gems I don't mind the girls I like doing the girls that's quite a nice one and um, the one with the cat oh so yeah, I'm, I, I'm not very good with jewels. I colour for fun, so I will colour in it. I'm trying to colour in one of these hardback books every month for the rest of the year now until I run out, because I've only got one, five and six. I'm trying to get comfortable, because I'm sitting on the floor and I'm not. So uh, again, Spirit Animals, another Hannah Carlson. The rest of them I have coloured in, so you'll see those later. As you can see absolutely stunning oh, I love this book because they are sort of double pages one's the animal one's the girl um, but I might I mean I just teach treat them as separate pages and then do them however I feel but that's uh, that one now, you know, I'm not big on to colour by numbers. I've got a few Jade Summer ones, as you know, but these are colour by number mandalas. 30 plus fun and relaxing colour by number projects. Fun, huh? Some of these, yes, they are quite good and I will happily do them. But they get harder as you go through to the point where they have no colour numbers in them. So that's fine. I mean, they've got no colour numbers in, so I'll just colour them how I want on those. So, yeah. The colour by number ones are quite nice, actually. I might have to... They're templates, you see. So what you do is take them out, and then you copy the ones copy paper, and you can do them all at once. But I'm just going to copy them and the, colour them in the book. Because, yeah, I can't be bothered. So I don't know where the colour plan is. It's at the front somewhere. Is there a colour plan? It should be somewhere it gives you all the different techniques so here's your colors so you know here's all the colors here that you can use royal blue medium orange yellow orange peach and so on so it's quite an easy palette you can just write it on a piece of paper and and, and that's how they say that the peacock one should look and it does show you each one completed how they think it should be done so i think when you get to the hard ones you're supposed to look at the colors on there and then possibly look at the colours here and try and figure out which bits which, but I probably won't. And I've got two of those. I've got the, that one and I've got the flowers one. I think this one was only £2 in sale, so. Again, they start off with the simple ones and then it gets harder and harder with the um, non-numbered ones. Oh, it's warm in here. Okay, then I've got... Enid Blyton's famous five classic colouring books. So this is um, pictures of the covers of the books. And I, I was going to do this one, one last year and I never did it for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I do like them and they will get done. So here's a black and white copy of the cover. But in the front and the back, they actually have the real, what they looked like with the colours. And there's the rest of them. Oh yeah, but you can do them how you want. You don't have to do it exactly the same. The whole point is it's your colouring book, and you can colour it how you want to. And there's obviously some of those funny pages in there that are the what do they call wallpaper ones. Um, I've got two Fabiana Atanasio ones. I've got the Wizard of Oz because the way people love Alice is the way I like the Wizard of Oz. I've always loved it. I've not done one. Oh, that's nice. But I will. Now, all oh, that's I like the poppy field. Yeah, I like that one. Um, so in the original story, 
the shoes were silver not red but it does have the story in here and I think it does say the silver shoes as well yeah two shiny silver slippers were sticking out from underneath its side um, the reason they changed it for the MGM film was of course silver wouldn't show up as well on the Technicolor as red would so and they were actually a dark sort of burgundy wine colour because the way that um, colours photograph on Technicolor film is, is a bit odd <laughs> and I got Snow White of course I was going to do a colour along somebody did a colour along on this and I just never got around to it doesn't mean to say I don't like the book though because I think it's gorgeous yeah people have done that one and I think that it looks so gorgeous but yeah, so it's the Snow White by Fabiana Atanasio. They're the only two of those I've got. Then I've got a Betty Boop colouring book. I don't think it's, uh, it's not an official one. It's just clip art. That is cute. No, I think I might do some. Oh, I like that. I'm going to do that one. Sexy Betty Boop. There we are. I've put these straight back on the shelves now to make life a little bit easier for me. I've got colour therapy. I'm so thirsty. I do apologise. Uh, Enchanted fair fairies. Thirty-two amazing designs, sixty-four pages. So two of each. This was one ninety-nine in a charity shop called the British Heart Foundation. I like that one. Some are difficult. Some not so difficult. It's cute. Again, papers not bad it's not brilliant it's a bit thicker than Amazon paper but it's quite smooth but at least it's single-sided so we could use our markers in there we like ones we could use markers there we've got uh, one of two Molly Harrison's the other one's got a page done in it or something that'd be two uh, this is the Enchanted Fairy Grayscale now I do like Molly Harrison and I love that picture I actually I like them all I'm not gonna lie I like Molly Harrison um, She's not one you hear about that often, which is a shame, because her pictures are absolutely stunning. I need to cover some more Molly Harrison. I want to get one of her cute books as well. Look at that. It's just stunning. So this one is uh, Wicked Women Grayscale Coloring Book by Black River Art. Now this has a page coloured in it by somebody else, the person I bought it off of, but that doesn't bother me. And it's just really photographs of women that you can colour in that they've got. Like she's holding a razor blade and she's got her mouth done she's got piercings and she's just a vampire there's nothing really I don't think it's particularly horrific but some people might not like it it's quite interesting I like that vampire one you wouldn't be able to do much with her hair it's going to be dark whatever you do but yeah I mean that's quite a nice one it's got a bloody handprint on it but I mean look at that just you do think how am I going to colour some of these um, but yeah I'm going to have a go at it at some point possibly at Halloween next one is um, The Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest and this is by Forest Diver <sighs> this is so detailed so I haven't come done it but I, I do like it I foresee lots of green being used in this book lots of greens and browns so but it is so pretty so pretty I've had it a while but I do want to colour it so look at that how cute this even though it's just one shelf it's going to be a very long video uh, Wonder Woman colouring book so this has got different carrot cartoons of Wonder Woman and I haven't coloured in it I do want to I love Wonder Woman my favourite super I like that one I'll probably do that one at some point and that one it's my favourite superhero I love Wonder Woman and because I love Wonder Woman so much I do have another Wonder Woman colouring book but this is an official DC Comics one there are quite a few out now including ones featuring Gail Gadot but I do like this one because this is actual comic art that has been um put into grayscale or black and white uh, and so that you can colour them this was great I like them yeah next one is Lola's Ladies which is a 1930s fashion colouring book 
uh, like that and they all patterns on the background and like that different 1930s fashions so the fashions these were originally drawn by a, a fashion designer named Lola, Lola, Lola Mayo Maya Hewish there we are um, and her daughters have put this together with her original designs and then they've put an art deco 30s background in the background so this, these are actually based on the design she made this is absolutely beautiful dresses that's a very, very bombshell Jean Harlow. So that's that one. Next we have The Beauty of Horror Volume 3. Now I do have <coughs> one, two, three and four. Um, it's just the others have either got coloured, one, one's coloured in or they've got whips in. What I haven't coloured in is this one and I can't wait for the next one to come out because that one is um, celebrities, isn't it? Throw ahead and dunk the dead. I just think these are so, I know they could be quite gruesome, but I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. I love his art. The, the books are packaged absolutely beautiful with this red foiling on it. Now he also has two smaller books out as well, which are, there's a Christmas one and a Halloween. I've only got the Halloween one, which is uh, Tricks and Treats. It's really tiny. A gorgeous Halloween book. Oh, there's Cerberus again. He turns up a lot. So this is, uh, I'm going to do one of these this, this uh, Halloween, definitely, if not before. Just simply because it's a small book, it'll clear a bit of space on the shelf and it goes onto a very small shelf for the others. Uh, which is by Yara Prosverina. Again, I think I've done one of hers in a Colour in Heaven book. I've got one marked here to do. Um, I like her, her witches, so... I do love this sort of stuff so there'll be a lot more of that next pile I'm just going to grab a few right. whoops I do apologise there uh, this one is Autumn Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee again I like Edwina's art style I've got a few of her books there's probably another one here somewhere they're not all together they're all mixed up at the moment when they get coloured in they do tend to get put together so you've got some with black backgrounds, some with white backgrounds, so you can do a background yourself if you so wish. Love those. Well, that's Autumn Dreamlings. I've got uh, Thea Lenehan's The Buns. Now this is the Amazon version, so the paper's not the best. It's actually really, even for Amazon, it feels really poor. Um, all these labels as well, I like that. But I still love her art style. It'd be perfect for pencils, just lightly shade it. Oh, that one's adorable. Look at all those bunnies. But I do think it's a really cute book. Uh, next is Selena Fennec and this one's an unusual one for her. This is Ponds and Flowers. So a beautiful water gardens. Uh, so it's not something she normally does but I thought that they were beautifully done. Again I have no idea what any of these flowers are so other than the ones that are like um, lily pads. <laughs> like that one obviously. Uh, but yeah, it's still a beautiful book. And then I've got Selena Fennec's Fairy Magic, Whimsical Fantasy Colouring Book. Anybody counting how many books we've got yet? I haven't bothered. I probably will at some point. There's that one. Then we've got Dark Fantasy, which I think is one of the newest ones. Creatures of the Night, Demon Princess, I love the names. Be Shadowed, House of the Full Moon, absolutely stunning. Catch Me, Medusa, I love Selena Fennec. Then I've got, I have got another Kelly Horton one. I've got The Littlest Darlings, which I haven't coloured in yet. So this is one where they're small girls rather than the, the grown-ups. Oh, I'm definitely doing that one this month. I am so doing that this month, I love it. That is adorable, putting that to one side with my tenderful enchantments. August Reverie by Chintaka Hirath. Again, these are absolutely stunning books. I like that one. But I haven't coloured in it yet. Get some more. And I've got August uh, Reverie 2 Epic. 
I know these are going out of shot to start with, but I am trying to pull them back down. Oh, this is a long video. I'm trying to speed it up a bit, but that's a nice one. There you go. Then I've got the 1950s colouring book. Great scale colouring book for adults, living art vintage. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed in this one. Not too much, but I was hoping there'd be more people rather than just the items. I said, oh, that's fine, I could colour that fine. Um, like that. And then we've got a Retro Women a Vintage Fashion Colouring Book. You can hear me putting them back as I go. Um, this one's quite nice, actually. Look at that. Very 1920s, darling. And that one. Love that one. Got to April Amber Chibi Girls Colouring Book Volume 3. I'm going to colour in this one this month as well, so I'm going to put it to one side. I love the DJ. There's only one of April Amber's books I haven't got, and that one is the unicorn one. So that one I have to get soon. Put that to one side. I don't normally plan what I'm colouring, but as I'm looking through the books, quite decided. Curious Shop by Chris Price. This one opens upright, absolutely beautiful but bizarre but I like it so that though we have a few more so there's that one oh next I'm trying to speed up I've got the tarot colouring book this is from the works it is on Amazon as well stunning images especially the major arcana the fool high priestess and so on. I've got Mythographic Colour and Discover Enchanted Castles. This one is by Fabiana Atanasio. This is the only one I've got in this series at the moment, though I am hoping to get some more because I think they're beautiful. Very nice paper. Oh, I like this. I think this is just a lovely book. Then I've got uh, William Shakespeare. I think I saw this on Grace's channel. Odessa be gay and I just think it's fab and I love Shakespeare anyway so there's gonna be lots of glitter in this one I believe I've got Secret New York by Zoe Delacassis again I love anything to do with New York been to New York my battery's running out I'm gonna have to find another one so I will do that as soon as I can Colour my sketchbook. Betty Klein, first one. Haven't coloured in it. Intimidates me this grayscale, but I will do it because I'm getting better with the grayscale. There's only a couple more in this pile. The next one is Colour my sketchbook Bloom. This is one I wanted since it came out, but I only recently got it. I think it was a few months ago. I think these are stunning. I'm going to have to do with a nice cream cone with the, rose, the tea roses. Lovely. That's, that's that one I'm going to have to change. Ugh. Next we have Kirby Rosanis Anamorphia. Everybody's seen this one. I've also got Phantomorphia. Like I said, these aren't in any particular order. Geomorphia. Some of the others you'll see either whoops, in completed pages or in the uh, whips and then of course I have got World Within Worlds I haven't coloured in it yet I am gutted because I really want to I know which one I want to do but I want to finish the whip I've got in the other ones first Fragile Worlds again I know which one I want to do in this book and in fact it is the koala but I haven't got chance yet and I want to finish the whip I've got in my other Kirby book before I start another one of these. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? So that's that. Next, I've got this. This is a, another one of these bad ones that they've put out. Um, Bristol colouring book. So Bristol is the city I was born in, in England, years and years ago, <laughs> by Rolf McEwen. But again, I like that picture on the cover, and that's why I got it. St Mary Redcliffe, the church. Inside, the pictures are really small, so they're not even a whole page. The art gallery inside the cathedral and so on so it's a little bit disappointing that they don't take up the whole page but I do like the book on to the relax with art books now 
um, Animal Magic. This is the first one I ever got and it was years and years ago. This is actually issue 12. Um, so it's all animal but it's very um, bitty and zen doodly and I'm not really into that but I, I probably will colour it at some point. And then Home Sweet Home. These are the holiday specials. This is holiday special issue, I don't know, 37? Yeah. And uh, so this is just various pictures of things that happen around the house this one I did want it's enchanted so it's all mystical fairies fantasy stuff unicorns really nice that's a good one some of them are really nice it's just finding the right medium for the paper and then the last one on the holiday specials is transport so this is just like vehicles so camper vans and RVs ice cream van a little bus a ship canal boat, gondola and so on. Let me just grab another stack quickly. We are very nearly getting near the end now. So we've got Relax With Art. This is obviously a Halloween type book. Issue 72. So it's all autumn themes. Then we've got uh, this one which is issue 73. Again still very autumny coming towards winter some fantasy, some boots, flowers, then we've got this one, this one is issue 77 so I might skip um, where I don't go to a shop that sells them. It's just all various pictures. Then this is issue 78 and some of these are really beautiful. Like the, the, like one, I don't know if you can actually see that, it looks really light. It's sort of like wellies with flowers in them and so on and then on that one we've got this one this is issue 79 that was actually I think the last one I bought if not there is one somewhere with some pages half coloured in it and it'll be in the whips book I know there is at least one relaxed two relaxed arts there so I'm not doing very well with this am I it's getting further and further away you know that's bad <laughs> it's easier on the desk but I couldn't be bothered to move all the books <coughs> right so again it's all various different pictures that's quite a nice one that one's a very nice one fish and chip shop that actually reminds me of um Lou in Cornwall so there's that one then next I've got Coloring Book Cafe Seaside Life Paul bought me this one for my birthday last year because we were supposed to go on holiday and then you know what happened and we couldn't so it's just uh, it's just nice Seaside. Oh, that's quite a nice one with that. And it does give you, it does show you that all the images in like a thumbnail size, slightly bigger than thumbnail. And then I've got the Big Eyed Girls colouring book, which again, I really like. Had to get this one because I think this cover is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. How, how could you not want to colour that? That's me that I is reading with a cup of tea. Cover page. And this is a smaller one, but it is still Coloring Book Cafe, um, but it's a slightly smaller size. And this is Witch, because you know I love anything with witches in it. And I've got Gnomes in the Neighbourhood. Again, like I said, still haven't coloured in it. One, two, haven't got the time. <laughs> so, it's a lovely thick book this is, but it is single-sided, which means you could use markers or water mediums in it which I'm grateful for because I do like my markers I do like water mediums it's nice paper <coughs> this was a cheap one I got in Lidl's ages ago enchanting nature now I tend to though it's in not coloured I have sort of put some colour on it but it's just more sort of like for testing things and I can't even remember what it was it tested various bits and pieces I think who knows as you see I mean, I might even just give this one to Jennifer, but it is there. I'm going to scribble on, test water mediums on and things like that. Various things. Then I've got some Creative Haven books. I've got The Wizard of Oz Designs coloring book. Like I said, I love The Wizard of Oz. Now, she's got red shoes on in this one. So I do love The Wizard of Oz. I've got a few books on Oz. Then I've got Dazzling Diner Designs. 
And I love these. Look at that. Root beer. Oh, I drink one of them now. You look like you could use a snack. I could use a beer. <laughs> um, I haven't said who they were by. So Oz was by Marty Noble. And Dazzle and Diner Designs was by Jessica Murakovitz. Um, this one is Art Deco Egyptian Designs. Who's this by? Does it say? Oh, it says on the inside. Um, adapted from Designs by Paul Marie. So, I, mean, I love anything to do with Egyptian and um, Egypt and um, Art Deco is done in. Grayscale. Very, very pretty. <coughs> Jazz Age Fashions. This is by Ming Ju Sun, who seems to do these fashion ones. I love this book. There is one here. I don't know where it is. Which just reminds me. And this is where I go off on a tangent looking for it. Is it in this book? That reminds me of it. Let me find it. That's a nice one. It's not that one. Maybe I'm, I imagined it was this book. I do think these are stunning. I mean, look at that. How beautiful is that? But can you imagine colouring that? Yes, because I'm going to. It's not Maybe it's not this book. Maybe it's a different book. Might be a different book. Anyway, I don't know. I just, I do love this book though. I think that the designs are stunning in that one. Then I've got a vintage hand fans. So this again is Marty Noble and it's just all different fans. I'm going to have to colour one of these but they are very very detailed as you can see but beautiful. Then we've got fabulous 50s. Fabulous fashions of the 1950s so again this is just lovely. Just lovely, lovely fashions from the 50s. I do like it like that. I love that one. Very cute. Excuse me, knocking the camera. Then I have got Shall We Dance colouring book. I ordered this the day I found my dance te found out my dance teacher had died. Um, a, long, a little while ago now, a few years now. And I wanted something in memory of her, but this one's a bit complicated, so I haven't actually done anything. As you can see, it's very, very, very detailed. But you can just colour them all in one colour, really. You don't have to do it. It's cute. It's a nice book. I've got Enchanted Fairies. Of course, who wouldn't want Enchanted Fairies? This is Barbara Lanza. Gorgeous fairies. I need to do one in here as well, don't I? I absolutely do. And then we've got Celtic Fantasy. This is Carrie Buzayek. Again, absolutely stunning with all the Celtic knot work and things like that. This is a long one. I know this is going to be the longest one, I think, near enough. It might not be. J. Tumman completed pages might be the longest. Uh, Main Street Colouring Book, which is Teresa Goodridge. I like this one. I do love this one. Got the barbershop there. I think these are just fantastic books let's get rid of that and we're on to the last oh if I can get them stack oh dear me oh I know I know which book it's in now it's in this one here right it's Dover colouring books now I've got a few Dover not not as many as I do Creative Haven of course they are Dover books um and it's this one, Fashions of the Roaring Twenties. There's one in here, if I can find it. This is by Tom Tierney, who is an artist I know of because he has done um, books of, oh gosh, what's it? Um, paper dolls. I do, do love these. I think these are fantastic. Might be that one. Might not be that one. Um, so something about the face on that one. 
It must be that one. Yeah. So that's very summer like it hot as well, isn't it? Look. With the swimming costumes. But this one it reminds me a bit of um, some like it hot. Because her face looks like Marilyn. Very much so. Although the dress isn't. Her face is very much Marilyn. Uh, I do apologise. Anyway, the next one I have is favourite ballets. So this is just all the, the things like the Nutcracker and Swan Lake, Cinderella. Sleeping Beauty and so on. Next over I've got is Tarot Designs by a Adrian Trafford. There we go. And I quite like this. The only problem with this is it's double sided which is a nuisance. You can't use the uh, markers on it. Ah, here's my other Edwina McNamee I haven't coloured in and it's Dreamings 2. Again Half black images and then the same images are done with a white background, which means you can do them as many ways as you want. Gothic Angels by Deborah Muller, because we all love a bit of Deborah Muller, don't we? Um, we've got a few of her books now and this is uh, one of her older ones I picked up because I thought, I quite like that. Lots of black, purple and red in there, I feel. And then we've got another Yam Puff one. This is Yam Puff Stuff, a kawaii colouring book. I love these, they're nice and simple, you know, just feel like having a quick colour, I'm going to, oh, I'll do the popcorn girl, or I'm going to do this one, they're not going to take long to, to do really, I love them, I think they're fantastic, we've got Ava Brown, Beautiful Woman, Women, Grayscale Colouring Book, and yeah, I like some of these, and these are really nice images, so not going to be too difficult to colour either, are they, let's be honest, look at it. Get the markers out on that one and Halloween colouring book Ava Brown love this again all cute Halloween pictures two of each I would imagine usually is not going to take too long to do some of those so they'll be quite quite fun to do over Halloween only three more to go colouring chicks grayscale Daria A I can't pronounce the surname, I do apologise, but if you say colour and chicks you'll be able to find it. And these are all different pictures. I love this style. I love these ones, so I'm going to pick up some more of these. That's so cute. Like that. And it's got the names in it as well. Bookish. The colouring book for bookworms. Again, a simple one. It could have been better. So many books, so little time. To read or not to read? What a stupid question. I think I might have a go at this one this month because it's a nice simple one to get off the shelf. And finally, the last book I haven't coloured in is The Journey Colouring Book, again by Adrian Trafford, Companion to the Journey Oracle. Very similar to that, very spiritual. Um, yeah, I like these. Again, double-sided, so Independence, Hope home, fleeting and so on, names are on the side, absolutely stunning book, I hope to colour in that one soon as well but I hope to colour in them all, so that is all the books I haven't coloured in this month, so I haven't bought any new ones yet and I haven't had my colour in heaven, if you want to see me in colour in any of these books on camera please let me know down in the comments below, I hope you find something you like and I hope I've enabled you to go and buy a load more colouring books because that's what it's all about isn't it let's be honest and I'll see you in the next video which shouldn't be as oops, long bye everybody